Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say I was necessarily ready to go in. I didn't think I was going in on that that first drive that I went in, um, so it kind of caught me off guard. But I was, it was good to be out there and I had fun out there. How difficult is it to stay ready to be on call like that? You know, we put a lot of prep in um, the whole week, so really it's not that hard. Are you guys still splitting one rep call this past week? Yeah, we're, we're just rotating now over the coach's office and you know, get a lot of one reps. Did, you know, the last week getting your feet wet at all, or maybe the coach was saying, like, tonight, the first time you get hit, like, that maybe helps you lock in mentally. Has that always been the case for you? That's always been the case for me. Like, I feel like when I go out there, there's obviously a little bit of nerves for everybody, but when I go out there and I actually get hit again on my guard, I'm good. Everything's out of the way. There's just nothing to worry about. I can go out and play and have fun. What happened on that, that four town play? It seemed like they, they just blitzed you on the play before that. And the pocket kind of collapsed. And you kind of roll out like play. Just what happened? Um, the receivers kind of got caught up in the uh, in the concept, so I uh, wasn't there trying to go backside and uh, didn't want to throw across my body. You know, it was fourth down, trying to make something happen, just wasn't there. Any more game action to feel your confidence to grow? Definitely. I think, you know, as the preseason's been getting a lot of reps with the ones, my, my confidence has been night and day difference from the year before, and it's just going to keep growing the more I get. Yeah. Devin, when you have those passes down field to Marvin, sometimes they're called, sometimes they're not, and DPIs, how do you stay in the moment and kind of keep things together? Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Obviously, you know, I'd like to complete those, but uh, just was kind of overthinking the throws a little bit. Just got to go out there and let it rip. And then with running the football, do you feel a little bit more comfortable at this point now taking some hits? Yeah, I mean, I've always felt comfortable. There was never anything like I was worried or anything like that. I was ready to go out there. I knew we were going to call some QB runs and design stuff like that. So I was ready to have my number called and actually go do it. There's a few times where big plays were called back because of holding. What do you try to say or do as a leader to let the offensive line know it's just one play, we got to go do the next one? Yeah, I mean, at that point, you just got to have short term memory. I mean, as soon as it happens, it's over, we got to learn from it and just go back and it's next play mentality. Do you assume this is trending to a place where Coach Day has to pick somebody, maybe even just for the Notre Dame game, um, has to go fully with one quarterback or the other? You know, I have, I have no idea what their, what their plan is, but the, but the plan for me is if my number's called to go out and make a play, and that's all I can do. Devin, with new clock rules, how much of an emphasis was tempo this week? Yeah, I mean, we, we lost a lot of series, you know, with this new clock rule. I think we only had nine possessions on offense. Um, so it makes every every rep matter, really. That's the biggest thing. we got to go out there and, and, you know, score every drive that we can. So calm. I didn't feel nervous or anything like that. And just have fun playing football again. Hey, see that, that one touchdown come off the board, you know, when y'all ran the, uh, when y'all ran, what was it, Maya off left side and stuff. And, and then y'all couldn't get it, you know, whatever. I mean, how disappointing is that leaving here today for this offense in particular? Yeah, I mean, you're still on center. It's yeah, little mistakes that kept it from being a blow. I think we were six of nine with with drives of scoring, and so, you know, against Youngstown State, it should be nine for nine, like we said. You know, we, we just won a game, but at the end of the day, there's a lot of things to, you know, that we need to fix and, and keep growing with. Yeah. Do you feel like I mean, Ryan Day today didn't declare you know a starter one way or the other. Do you feel like you're in this race as we sp as we speak right now? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. I've always felt like I was in the race. That's never going to change for me. I'm always going to think I'm the guy, but we just got to do what's best for the team, and that's what we're doing. When our numbers call, we go 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 out there and, and help this team win. And how much do you watch? How much will you watch like over the weekend? Video of just yourself. You know what I mean? Of when you're in there, just to get a sense of where you were and where you can go. Yeah, a lot. I mean, there's going to be a lot of things that I'll see that I wish I would have had back or wish I would have done differently. But, I mean, that's just football. You're going to learn and grow every week. So this weekend will be a good time to, you know, get this game off my back and, and learn from what I did and what I could have done better and then, you know, hit Western Kentucky next. Yeah, what finally there is some video, right? <laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah. What do you feel you've shown the coaches staff through these two times you've got been able to play? Maybe you couldn't in practice. Or... Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit different when it's live. You know, in practice, you can't actually show how you're going to be in the run game or how you're going to be extending plays. So it's good to actually be out there and feel the rush and, and actually be real, you know? That fourth and seven play, like where stuff was closing in, you kind of extended that. Was that kind of like an example of that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, when everything broke down, my, my you know, my read wasn't open. That was which is what I had to do on fourth and seven. I got to go out and convert. It's a really early step, but if you give yourself a self grade for today, what do you Says C. Where's the biggest area for, to make that leap? Just missing throws. Got to got to complete those easy throws. Like I said, I didn't think I had anything that was mentally wrong or any reads that were bad. Just missed a few easy throws. What'd you like about your day and what you not like? Yeah. About? Um, I felt like I had good energy. I felt like I had good leadership. Um, I felt like I was really rallying the guys. I mean, I think two out of the three drives I was in, we went down and scored. Um, 
would like to score on the third one, but overall I think it was a pretty good day for my first time, you know, having meaningful reps and meaningful play. Is it the C because you're hard on yourself? Or is that where What's that? Is the C because you're hard on yourself? Or is it yeah, definitely. I mean, like that missed to Carnell, that should have been touchdown passing him, but I mean, it is what it is. I just got to learn from it. Keep going. What do you think uh, kind of in those, those those first three super, you're kind of like you're waiting for your chance. What do you do on the sideline to kind of say more? Well? I'm standing with the coaches getting the play, and like I said, I'm taking mental reps of what actually is going on with the defense. So it's like I'm in there playing, just not a lot.